Hey GED students, I was emailed a question on lightandsaltlearning at gmail.com and it was, it was this one. It's actually one of my questions from the distribution lesson on the GED crash course, advanced level practice number 15. Now, there's a reason why this one's on the advanced level practice. Even though it is an application of three GED skills you need to understand, writing expressions, um, simplifying algebraic expressions and utilizing the GED formula sheet. So it involves all those skills. Um, it is more complex than what appears on the GED. So if you're just like, all I want is to be GED ready, Kay, you can feel free to skip this video, you lucky thing. Uh, but she wanted it solved. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the base of a triangle is five centimeters more than three times its height. Uh, that already sounds confusing, huh? <laughs> and then it says, find the simplified area of the triangle in terms of the height, H. No wonder this is confusing. I don't even know the height. We're just calling it H. Um, and so this is pretty tricky. So I think I'd like to start right here with just drawing myself uh, a triangle. So let's get this triangle out here and it has a height. The height always runs perpendicular to one of the sides and that side is known as the base. Okay, so um, it says that the height we're gonna call H and then there's this weird statement. The base of the triangle is five centimeters more than three times its height. This is why I say this is an extension of writing expressions. We do have to be able to write expressions on the GED and that right there is an algebraic expression. If we're five centimeters more than something, that means we're gonna have to add five to that thing. And then what are we five centimeters more than? Well, we're five centimeters, let me say it again, Whew. we're five centimeters more than three times the height. To say three times the height, I need to multiply that height, h, by three. And so there is an appropriate expression for the base. That says five more than three times the height. Beautiful. Now that I've written these expressions, I can do this. Find the simplified area of the triangle in terms of the height. And now this is why I say this is an extension of using the GED formula sheet. Because if you don't know how to find the area of the triangle, you hit up that formula sheet, look under the very first section is area, and you'll see that it says to find the area of a triangle, multiply one half times the base it doesn't have parentheses on the formula sheet, sorry, times the base times the height. They're all shoved together, so they're multiplying. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna multiply one half times the base. Now I will use parentheses and you might say, Kate, I don't know the base. And no, that's true. You don't know exactly what it is, but you have an algebraic expression that you use to represent it. So I'll put that in, 3h plus five and I'm supposed to times that by the height. And once again, you might say, Kate, I don't know the height. And again, I'll say to you, no, but you know an algebraic expression that represents the height, that's H. Okay, so if I wanna find the area, that's what I need to do. I need to multiply this half times the expression I wrote for the base times the expression for the height, okay? now. Let's just do uh, one at a time here as we multiply. So I think I'll actually deal with the half last and I'll start by multiplying these two expressions. It doesn't matter what order you multiply and do it whichever way seems easier to you, makes you know your heart sing, I don't care. <laughs> so remember that we pass out um, you know, terms as we multiply. This is just one single H here, and so it's going to be passed out to every term inside that parentheses. It doesn't, again, order doesn't matter. Um, but if I'm multiplying one term by two terms, uh, then I have to do 2x a multiplication. So 3H times H is 3H squared. Ooh, let's continue using red, actually. Okay, 3h times h is a 3 with 2h's multiplying, also known as h squared. 
And then of course, h times positive five is positive five h. Now, careful, even though you finished that act of multiplication, this sucker is still grouped because it still needs to multiply with this one half. Beautiful, now let's go ahead and do that. Now you might say, Kate, I don't know how to multiply with fractions. You could certainly do it with your calculator, one half times three, um, but it's actually really simple here. If you have one half three times, you literally have three halves. And then of course, I just write that variable down. Um, so I get three halves h squared. And then I'll add that together with, again, if I have one half five times, I'll end up with five halves h. And there you go, that is my final answer. Now let's see, what was I finding? Find the simplified area of the triangle. Okay, area is always measured in square units and the base of my triangle was five centimeters more than three times its height. So the unit here is gonna be centimeters squared. Okay, squared because I was finding area, centimeters because that's what was in the problem. Now, it's not that big of a deal if you don't know the unit. On the GED, you'd probably just have to match the expression, but you know, I'm an anal retentive math teacher. So there you go, final answer is 3 halves h squared plus 5 halves h centimeters squared. That's what I meant by finding the simplified area of the triangle. That's all the math I can do since I don't know what the height is. There's nothing else I can do. I am done here. All right, now you see why I said, whew, this is gonna be a challenging example. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math problem, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.